LeBron James lost an estimated 20 pounds during the offseason. Here's how that weight loss could potentially impact his play this season. By reducing his weight from roughly 270 pounds to 250, LeBron will be able to accelerate quicker when pushing off the ground with the same amount of force. This means his already elite first step could be even faster than the 0.33 seconds we clocked him at last season. But less mass also means less momentum when LeBron is driving the lane, which he did 569 times last season. If LeBron is moving at 15 miles per hour, a defender will have to impart roughly 1,800 pounds of force on a 250-pound LeBron to completely stop his forward momentum. This is about 150 pounds of force less than it took to stop him at his heavier weight, meaning LeBron might have a bit more trouble overpowering defenders this year. But the biggest impact LeBron's weight loss might have is on the rest of his career. All else being equal, LeBron's knees will experience about 7% lower peak impact forces when landing his lighter body. This means that over the course of the season, LeBron's new weight could reduce the beating his knees are subjected to on dunks alone by over 18,000 pounds of cumulative force. Now, if LeBron keeps all the weight off, and that's a big if, his knees will also benefit while he's simply running, which he does a lot. Last season, LeBron ran more than 185 miles in regular season games alone. That's equivalent to running seven marathons in just six months. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.